it's Claire here. Yes, I am back and uh, today I thought I'd come outside. Um, we had a bit of a grey morning this morning here in Jersey, but this afternoon it's just turned up quite nicely. So I thought I'd come and share with you my little live event, but uh, from, from outside. A little bit of wind, but it's really nice. After the hell that we have, <laughs> not only a few hours ago it was uh, it's quite nice to see the sunshine and today I was hoping to see a few bees in my garden but they're not out just yet I have a really big bush of lavender and they love coming here but I think it's a tiny bit early to 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 see the lavender but today I want to talk to you about the bees and obviously the busy queen bee the bees the beehive You've heard me talking about this for quite a few years now. Um, but what is it all about? And a lot of people say to me, why the Queen Bee, Claire? We love the idea, but why is that? And in actual fact, it all started um, probably about four years ago now, about four or five years ago. And I was kind of joking, saying, you know, my mystery shoppers were really like little worker bees and they were going to do mystery shopping and they were coming back to the hive with the results and, you know, that kind of uh, theory and little anal analogy um, and then it become you know really I really enjoyed the bees and I fell in love with a book which was called which is called The Wisdom of Bees uh, by a beekeeper called uh, Michael O'Malley um, and he actually created, wrote this book um, and he gave uh, it's actually um, a book on leadership and how leaders and businesses should really look at how the beehive work and and, um, and do some things similar and that really clicked into me and everything else I was doing and um, so I did a bit more research and I was actually looking at the woggle dance and you know when the bees are in the middle of their hive to actually communicate between each other and to actually um, let them know how far the fields are how many flowers how much they're gonna have they do a little woggle dance and so they turn round and round and round like an eight and depending on how many eights they do and how fast they do it that means that you know there's a big field it depends on far um, so they really communicate in in dancing that woggle dance and suddenly made a, a real waha moment in thinking well, the woggle dance is like a, a virtual circle, just like customer service. You know, you've got to always consistently look after your customers and do this and do that and do this and do that all the time to look after your customers and have a successful business. And that's how it all started. So it started with the woggle dance. It started with, you know, the... Um, the bees and the queen bee. And, and really, I, I went and I met a... A beekeeper and uh, she'd said to me she said oh you don't want to be a queen the queen just lie there and just lay eggs all day and I thought that's quite right yes I, I'm not quite you know I don't just lie there all day you know I'm quite a busy bee and she said well the busy queen bee sounds quite nice and I thought yeah I quite like that and that's all I had started so you know from a little story and a little analogy you know, we became, that became my brand and the BC Queen Bee just works with everything to the point where I wrote my own book as well. So I, I published my book Thrive with a Hive last year, um, in February last year. So if you haven't got a copy, you can um, download it from Amazon. It's called Thrive with a Hive and Thrive with a Hive is a book with 10 steps on how to deliver exceptional customer service and I use the analogy of the bees and the beehive in every chapter. So, you know, for example, in chapter one, we talk about assessing, um, assessing the environment and understanding, you know, how the business is doing, how the others are doing in their environment. And the bees, they are always assessing what they're doing. They're always looking at the time, how far they're going, how far they've got to come back. They're always assessing the different fields. They're always, you've got those little scouts bees going around and checking all the the different fields just to make sure that the fields are going to be okay and this is what you know i we do they, they also they never waste time bees no they're always always on their mission they always know exactly where to go and how to do it they communicate with each other they follow each other so they know the best way to go out there and then they'll come back and bring all that gorgeous nectar back to the hive um, another one that I always talk about is uh, how you train um, in the company. 
um, and training in the beehive is quite incredible because they obviously they become you know they they the young little bees and then they're called house bees and then they look after the chores they look after the hive they feed the brood they clean they repair they feed the queen bee uh, they make sure that everything's nice and tidy and then you know they become a bit bigger they start caring for their worker bees they start caring for the queen and then you've got the gods bees who guards the hive and then you've got the scouts bees who go and they forage you know they go in their field and get their honey and all that kind of things so it's always about progression it's always about looking at ways on how you can develop somebody in your business and actually make this business really looking um, the best possible way utilizing your best employees in the best places so it's a really good analogy to think about when you think about your business how can I make the most of my employees so this is my little uh, tips and trick on the bees. I mean, there's a whole lot more. You know, this is the book and you probably see it upside down again because the flick. And uh, But um, if you go on Amazon.com, uh, you will find it there. Or if you live in Jersey, there's plenty of places here. W.H. Smith and Waterstones and Cocorico's got it as well. So and uh, if you want a signed copy, let me know. I'd love to do that for you as well. Um, and more and more details, you know, uh, you can check out my blog this month. I give loads of practical tips on what the bees do. So follow me on Twitter and Facebook and all that malaki social media. And I'd love to hear from you. If you've got any questions on how you can actually put into place some of the bees analogy into your business, let me know. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you. Bye. And, and oh, oh, I'm coming back just in a minute in French. En français. I'll speak to you then. Bye.